In this question we have a sector with an arc length of 4.2 centimetres and an angle of 1.2 radians and in part 1 we're asked to find the radius of the sector. Now there are two key formulae which are linked to sectors and these are that the area is a half r squared theta where theta is the angle in radians and the arc length is just r times theta again where theta is the angle given in radians. Now we know the arc length is 4.2 so we know that 4.2 is equal to r times by the angle 1.2. So to find r we just have to divide 4.2 by 1.2. So 4.2 divided by 1.2 gives us 3.5 centimetres. So the radius is 3.5 centimetres. In part 2 we're then asked to find the perpendicular distance of the chord AB from O. So if I were to cut through the centre, i.e. bisect this angle, then the question wants us to find this distance here. If I were to sketch this out again, then we've got a right angled triangle. We know r is 3.5. We know the angle will be a half of 1.2, which is 0 0.6. Again, this distance here, or this length, will bisect, i.e. cut the angle in half. And I want to find the length or the distance, we'll call it D. So to find D, we have to use Socartoa, because we know the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. We know well, we, want, we want to find D, which is the adjacent to the angle. So therefore I can write down that cos of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. A reminder about Socartoa. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is opposite over adjacent. I've got the adjacent and the hypotenuse in the question. So to find D, I just need to work out what 3.5 times cos of 0.6 is. Again, we must be in raging mode here. That's quite important. So I work out 3.5 times cos of 0.6. I know I'm in radians due to the R on the display. Press enter, and the answer is 2.9 to 1 dp. So d equals 2.9 centimetres to 1 decimal place.